Okay, we're here with Greg Keys of Haas Tools. Greg, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Well, this is our third year with our demonstration garden here at the Sunbelt Expo. And what we do is we have a garden that's interactive. So people can actually come out here and take the tools and we can talk to them. They can understand how they can garden, how they can actually hands-on take the tools to keep the weeds out, to lay drip tape or to plant. All right, so what we try to do is grow some of the things out here that you may not be aware that you can grow in a garden. One of the things that we grow here in the south that nobody thinks they can grow is lettuce. We grow several different varieties of lettuces that can actually grow here in the south with all the heat. The one we're growing this year is a Salvanova uh, type of lettuce. It's a small head lettuce and it grows great here in the south. Another thing we got is five different varieties of okra. A lot of people don't know that there's that many okra varieties out there. We have five different varieties of okra. We got three Three this heirloom that's open pollinated and we have two that are hybrids and those hybrids are a little bit different one of them's red and one of them's green but they are very prolific and they're great addition to the home gardener because they come in a couple weeks earlier than the normal open pollinated okra does and plus they make a lot more another thing that we have out here this year is kohlrabi we got purple kohlrabi up next to the fence. That's a great plant that not many people know about. It's easy to grow. It's a leafy green, so you can also eat the leaves. But it has a bulb right above the ground there. A lot of people take it and make coleslaw, or you can stir fry it. One of the problems small farmers and home gardeners challenges they face is irrigation. In the past, what we've done is done overhead irrigation. But what we have done is we have come up with drip irrigation for the small farmer and from the home gardener. Now this technology has been used for a long time with the commercial vegetable production, but we've took that and made it available to the home gardener and to the small farmer. And what we do is we bury that drip tape about three inches under the ground. And what that does is it keeps the wind from blowing it around. It also keeps the rodents and the rabbits from chewing into it. The emitters are 12 inches apart and we hook it up just like you see it right here and then we plant directly on top of that drip tape. It uses a lot less water. Also, it helps with disease control because you're not putting water on the leaf of that plant, you're putting it underneath it. It also helps with weeds because you're not watering out there where your weeds go. So if you're not using drip irrigation, you definitely need to check into it. It's a great advantage to when you start irrigating.